Hey guys, this is Comic Uno and Comic Frontline, and let's talk about Homeland Season 4. Now this is a show I usually uh, review episode by episode, and usually watch episode by episode, but uh, this semester was crazy and I had to drop some shows to watch episode by episode and save them for January to watch, and the first show I wanted to watch was Homeland, because I really do like the series, but... I just didn't have the time. There was like four shows on Sunday and I had to cut one of them and Homeland ended up being cut just because again it's a little bit harder to review um, episode by episode. Uh, but after watching Homeland season four I think I'm going to stick with the season binging. I think it's actually a better show to binge season by season. Um, I did that with the first two seasons. I didn't start watching the show until like season three. Um, right before season three came out I binged season one and two, really, li really liked the way I did that, and then season three I watched episode by episode, and now season four, uh, season, and I, I like the season format a little bit more than waiting every week to watch the next episode. I think the flow just was better for this type of series. Um, Let's talk about this season. Uh, you know, I was actually also really s skeptical about this season. Uh, I think that's why I waited so long, is that I really didn't know what direction they were going to go. If you check out my Dark Avenger Inc. Uh, review, I have a review for Season 3, Episode 12, where it's like, spoiler alert, Brody dies. Uh, so, where do you go there? Uh, you have Saul who quits, and then Carrie has a baby and doesn't really know what to do with it. And all these things that happened is like this is actually a really good series finale where are you gonna go with this and honestly it went in such a great direction this season and I think this was much better than season three honestly um, and on par with season one I still think season one's a bit better but this is definitely on par with season one which is my favorite season of the show uh, so what happens to this season overall is that we get to see it mostly in Pakistan. You get to see a little bit in the United States, uh, but it carries the head of the of the operation in Pakistan. She's not like you know the assembly woman or whatever um, or the ambassador, but she is um, the head of the operation. And then some people find out that she's crazy, but most people already know she's crazy. So. It's very much in this season that people like her, people dislike her, uh, and a lot of hoo-ha goes around with, uh, with her meds, uh, so that, that becomes a bit of a crazy story arc where the, the ambassador's husband works with the other side and switches Kauri's meds. So now this is just a chance for um, the terrorists of the season to, to go into the to go into the United States area in Pakistan. So now this this terrorist story arc hasn't ended this season. Uh, it's definitely on hold, but there's more of Carrie's life story going on too. Her relationship with Quinn, there might be a relationship. Um, her trying to be a mother but not really being good at it at all. There's actually this weird, really weird scene where she wants to drown her baby, which I'll get into even more. Uh, and then the last episode really going into that Saul wants his job back. He doesn't want to be retired anymore. And he will go to some darker paths to do that. Um, and that's pretty interesting. And Carrie looking at Saul is like, who have you become? Because throughout the whole season, he was pretty much kidnapped by the, the main terrorist of the season. So he has changed as a person. And another big story arc being that Carrie's mother returns and has a son. And can she make a relationship with her mother now that her father died? Which I think I saw coming just because um, the father, the person who plays the father, did die in real life. So I was wondering if they were going to work that in. They, they did work it into the storyline. Um, but overall, I thought this was a really good balance. What I liked about Homeland Season 1 is that it was a good balance between Carrie's life and really relationship with Brody and her government life. And here, I think it was a really good balance of tension of, you know, Saul being kidnapped, what's Carrie going to do next? There's a lot of great tension moments that I think a lot of Homeland fans love more than, you know, the Carrie story. But I personally like the balance between the Carrie story and the tension and obviously the government story. So... I, I really did like the season. Like I said, I thought the terrorist was an interesting character. I'm glad that they didn't end the story, so this story will continue in season five, which I'm glad because they did that in the first two seasons of the, the original terrorist also, so I thought that was a good idea not to end it this season and have that type of story going on. But it's it's really just half the story that's being told here. There's a lot of stories going on. You know, 
the Quinn and uh, Carrie relationship I think is interesting, especially now that Brody's passed. Um, I think they have a cool chemistry going on, and now that Quinn has, you know, stuff wrong with, not wrong with him, but he has a interesting past, and so does Carrie. I think they understand each other uh, a bit more. Now Quinn's backing off and doing his own thing and might be going back to being a killer uh, right when Carrie was ready to go with Quinn. Um, so I'm sure that's going to pan out in season five. Uh, and also, I think, you know, bringing Carrie's family in again, uh, you know, her being a, a mother and not really being good at it, but after everything she's dealt with in Pakistan and with her father, she realizes I have to be a good mother now. And I, I think she's going to try, you know, she's still going to be Carrie. Uh, and again, that's that scene was like a highlight of the season, but a horrible highlight is that she tried to drown her baby. I was like, whoa, Carrie, you just like went to the next step of crazy. Uh, so there are a couple of scenes like that, um, and also trying to get an asset here, and she had, like, sex with an 18-year-old boy to, uh, you know, to get an asset. So you do get a lot of the Carrie craziness that, if you like Carrie craziness, you're going to have it this season. Uh, but yeah, going back to it, I like that we're going to the family, um, and I think it's a good replacement from the Brody family. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like the Brody family, and I'm sure they were happy that they weren't here. Um... I kind of miss it, you know, I, I want to see episode, like maybe episodes see where they're at now because I want to see them grieve, but I understand why people wouldn't want to see them either. Uh, but I think Carrie's family, focusing on them, it was a really good idea for this season. I think they balanced the United States story and the Pakistan story really well uh, this season. So overall, there's a lot of great tension, a lot of great Carrie story. If you want more focus on Carrie, Finally, we're getting that because Brody's not here. Um, and then you get some great Saul story. All the supporting characters get really good stories. Even the sisters start to get a really good story. So overall, I give Homeland Season 4 four stars. I thought it was a really solid season, and it gets me really excited for Season 5. And again, I think I will binge it uh, with the season and review it like this. But please tell me in the comments below what you thought about this season of Homeland. Homeland. Do you think it was better in Season 3? I really think it was better than Season 3. And I think we're, we're going into a new direction with Homeland and a better direction with Homeland. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno and Comic Frontline. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Ryan situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also description below there's links for my comic book Like Father Like Daughter and don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. Bye.